Hi, me again. It's uh, three o'clock, so it's time for another quick update. Um, not lots going on, to be honest, uh, here. Uh, we are just now starting to get the tip of the uh, tropical storm force winds. So, you know, we're getting some good gusts, but nothing near hurricane strength yet. We won't see that, like I said, until late in the day. It's three o'clock. What I did do, um, I taped the windows and I've got, uh, or I had rather, some, uh, some spray rubber. And these, these sets of windows on the front of my house are shite, <laughs> quite honestly. This side isn't too bad, but the other side, the bottom pane was broken out at some point. And whoever replaced it used the wrong size window, so I had to use a lot of uh, spray rubber to uh, cover up the hole that was down there. And I just did this one. The ants are a bit, a bit annoyed. Ah, they, they, what the fuck's going on? And they're trying to find somewhere to, uh, probably somewhere dry to live. I don't know. Yeah, let's take a quick look around. As you can see, the water level has receded. As uh, you know, you imagine it would, because uh, we had that squall come through and it's gone. Um, one of the things I'm doing is just uh, wandering my little section of the neighborhood in between rainstorms and picking up little bits of debris like this that could potentially end up flying around the neighborhood later today. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, you look at the trees moving. We're getting, we're getting some uh, interesting guts now, but you know, nothing terrible. We did actually just have one jackass in a truck come down the road at like 35 through this deep water. Not a very helpful individual. But that's about it. Um, one of the main concerns I have is the backyard. Uh, and the dog poo. I'm going to end up standing that, watch. Um, it gets a bit deep back there. I dug this trench out yesterday and I weed whacked this little gully but um, the water wants to run downhill from that way that way and the house is in the way so a <laughs> bit of a problem so I've actually put some uh, fire foam along the bottom of the back door and closed it and then I put some sandbags there so it should stop the water from coming in but the one thing I know is going to happen is I'm going to get water in the garage and there's there's no two ways about it but uh, my plan for that is just to let it happen um, it's going to after the uh, the major wind has gone by I'm going to crack the bottom of the garage a little bit probably about that much hang on there you go about that much and that should allow the water to flow through the garage from that side door that you saw anyway that's about it for now uh, I guess I'll come back at about five and, and do another update. By then, things should be getting a little more exciting. <laughs> Until then, I will see you anon, hopefully.